This was just one of the scenes during another chaotic night in Ferguson, Missouri yesterday as protesters continued to clash with police. The violence there has sparked a national debate on police tactics and race relations. Today, two men who know what it's like to run a big city police department shared their thoughts on what they've been seeing over the last two weeks. You have a very suspicious uh, police shooting. We, have, we need to know what the facts are. Uh, and we need to make sure it's being done at a level of accountability where just not the local actors are involved. But as I've called upon, uh, that we get the U.S. Attorney, uh, or the Attorney General, excuse me, in there to take a look at it as well. But it's more than that. It also involves the challenges we're seeing now with how the police are treating private citizens, innocent citizens who are exercising their First Amendment rights. It goes beyond that even. Governor Christie was asked about his reactions to the scenes in Ferguson, specifically whether police are too eager to arrest and physically confront people of color. I'm not going to get into this game of you know, generalizing and characterizing people in that way. Everyone should be ba should be judged on their merits. Whatever happened in Ferguson, we have a justice system in this country that will be able to make that judgment. And if there are people that need to be held accountable, I'm confident they will be. But I'm not going to get into this business of generalizing against law enforcement officers. It's not right. Senator Booker is the former mayor of Newark, the state's largest city, which has had its own problems dealing with its citizens. So much so that the Department of Justice is preparing to step in and force changes in the culture and practices there, a process that will not happen quickly or easily. Officials say that every town is different and that every police department has its own unique circumstances to deal with. But they say that the lessons from Ferguson are pretty fundamental. I spoke to about 200 police officers in the city of Newark. And I told them that what's happening in Missouri is actually the best practices for what we shouldn't be doing. So, uh, you know, whatever they're doing, we're going to do the opposite. As for the firepower employed, oh. tactical weapons, tear gas, and military vehicles, both Baraka and Booker said they make sense in a city like Newark, which has been the target of external terror threats, but denounced the way they were employed in Ferguson. You're not preparing yourselves to attack the residents of the community, you're preparing yourselves to attack those who try to attack the community. Uh, and, and, and when you look at the community as the problem, uh, then uh, you begin to, things begin to spiral out of control is what we see. I don't see a reason uh, in an in instance where you're dealing with civil matters where you need that kind of weaponry. New Jersey hasn't witnessed scenes of violence like these since the urban unrest of the 60s and 70s. But as events in Ferguson clearly demonstrate, it only takes one spark to ignite an inferno. For NJTV News, I'm David Cruz.